Hey guys, Mr. G here, and let's talk about the bevel tool that I use. Now, right now, when you guys uh, use your bevel tool, let's change this back to my classic. Uh, when you use your bevel tools, you hit Control B, and it brings up the classic bevel tool that you guys know and love. <laughs> but when I go to mine, I have a different bevel tool that I use. select all these and when I hit B I have a new better bevel tool that shows me my offset and I can adjust the uh, subdivisions by holding shift and just dragging back and forth all right I can still adjust the uh, the length or the distance of the bevel by just holding my middle mouse button and dragging back and forth which is nice so how did I set this up alright well first what I need you guys to do is let's go to window general edit no windows workspaces and save current workspace as your own so just put in first name last name save it go ahead and hit OK and then your workspace should pop up right here all right next thing I want you to do is go into your windows settings and preferences hotkey editor come here now this should say my default And so what you, what you can do is go go here and go duplicate. Once you go duplicate, it's going to ask you to enter a name. I would enter your first or last name here, and then hit OK. I'm going to hit cancel because I already have my custom hotkeys right here. Once you have that, you can go to Windows, Workspace, choose your custom workspace, click the menu button. link menu set to this workspace uh, you can have different menus like the modeling menu poly modeling or the modeling menu here you can have rigging which is in here so any one of these menus you can have set up to here right now um, uh, for mine it's set up to modeling link a hockey set to this works workspace so I can go ahead and select my hotkeys uh, set. Uh, link VP2 to presets to this workspace. Um, I can't remember what this is, so don't you don't even have to worry about these. But for the most part, make sure this is set to modeling, and that this is set to your hotkeys. And then hit apply, or apply and close. Now uh, go ahead and go file, save preferences. Okay. Now, once you do that, I would advise you to close out Maya uh, and relaunch it, just so that the settings can take hold. Once you're back in Maya, you should be able to choose your own workspace. So here's my workspace G. So I can always go back to my classic Maya without messing up any settings or having any issues. So if I have any hotkeys that interfere with the tutorial or I need to do something different, I can always go back to my Maya Classic. Okay? So in your own custom workspace, let's go to Windows, Settings, Preferences, Hockey Editor. And G, okay, G Workspace Setting. Why is it on my default? G apply and close. Okay. So now Windows, Settings, Preferences, Hockey Editor. So now what I'm going to do is choose a category. I want to choose custom scripts. And right now I already have K-Bevel set up. 
but we're going to make a new one and I'll include the script uh, and the text document for you guys. So um, right now this is labeled K bevel and these are this is the script and the settings that I have for uh, my bevel tool. And the current hotkey I have set for it is B. Um, so you go ahead and uh, you would go new, type in your name, give it a description if you want. So as if I'm going to uh, going to a new one, I'm going to go K bevel and. Alright, so make sure that um, when you're naming your tool, that any spaces you have, you need to make sure that you put an underscore there. If you don't, you're going to get an error. Okay, so make sure that there's an underscore in between. Go ahead and hit save run time, run time command. It's going to say run time command has been saved. It's going to show up in here what you need to do is assign it a hotkey so mine's right now is assigned to B um, I would advise you guys just to assign it to control B so that uh, it just replaces the current uh, bevel tool you have and it's going to bring up a warning say do you want to do this you can just hit save and or and then save and close and you'll be okay because we can always go back to our Maya classic where we can always go back to our classic tool okay so create a cube here I'm gonna select my edges hit B and I have the custom bevel tool. Alright. So that is it for now, guys. Until uh, next time, peace.